Hi, crafty planner friends. This is Jennifer. Um, today, I'm going to be setting up my traveler's notebook. I use a standard size or narrow, um, and I'm using the Coco Daisy kit for April, which is called Meadows. So I'm actually going to be filming the entire process here of setting up from start to finish for the new month. And the first thing I do when my kit arrives is go through and pick out some of my favorite um, project life-size cards, pocket cards, um, the dashboards, which I have here. I typically use the personal size. The Coco Daisy kits do come with an A5 size as well. Um, so you can cut down the A5 size or layer the personal size depending on what size planner you have. This beautiful acetate with the butterflies on it actually came in the planner classified kit and I thought it looked really good layered over that paper and now I'm playing with the vellum um, that also came in the classified kit to see if I wanted to um, make another vellum dashboard for my planner for the month of April and I am going to end up doing that. And then I take those dashboards and cards that I picked out that are my favorites and layer them on top of different papers. So I do get the papers that come in the memory keeping kit and the big sheets that come in the planner kit. And so I went ahead and picked out enough of those to make dashboards, I think five of them for my setup if I remember correctly. And what I do that you're seeing here is I take the dashboard out of my current setup and use it as a guide on my paper trimmer to cut the new piece of paper down for the next month. This is just a little bit easier for me personally than trying to measure um, with a ruler or trying to get something exact. So I have here my first set of dashboards with the layered acetate and paper. Then I'm going to add this pocket card. Um, I was just showing you that it does have a Sunday start and a Monday start on the other side. So depending on what type of um, preference you have, I'm a Monday start type of person. So I always put the Monday start showing up on my first dashboard. And I like having this dashboard first because then I can just open up my planner and quickly see the month. And then I'm going to repeat this process for the rest of my dashboard. So I have my second dashboard out here from March, and I'm going to use it to trim down the paper to make my dashboards for April. This particular dashboard was from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And since it's made as a standard size Traveler's Notebook type of kit, um, all of those pieces work really well for me since I'm using that specific size as my planner. But again, you could, um, you know, layer or trim down depending on what size planner you're using. And I'm gonna layer that personal dashboard with some paper. All right, on to dashboard number three. I'm gonna replace dashboard number two and go ahead and pull out dashboard number three. I do have the papers in these vinyl pockets from Foxy Fix. Foxy Fix is currently closed. Um, so if you want to check out the Chic Sparrow, I'll link it below. Um, she sells um, vinyl or plastic, I'm not sure of the exact material, um, dashboards as well. So that was dashboard number three. And now I'm going to make this vellum wrap around. So I take a piece of white cardstock and fold it in half with my bone folder. Trim down that white cardstock to the correct size and then wrap around the vellum to the back and just make that crease. And then I'm going to tape down on the back with some washi tape so that that is secure and doesn't move around trim off the excess and then I'm going to take a pocket size card um, that I liked and actually tape it with some washi tape to the back and that just kind of made the back of the vellum pretty as well. 
Okay, next dashboard. So we're getting closer to the end here. I take the existing one out of my setup and again trim down my papers for April. So that when I'm ready to move over for the month, all I have to do is grab those dashboards and pop them in place. And for this one, I decided to use my Gary card that also came in the planner classified kit. And I like to use washi tape on the back. That way at the end of the month, I can peel this specific card up. I do like to save my Simon, Betty, and Gary cards um, in a separate spot and reuse them. So I don't like using permanent adhesive of any type because I want to keep them kind of in pristine condition. So I have all of these um, dashboards ready to go. And looks like I'm just actually ad taking the time now to adhere the pocket cards or the dashboards on top of the printed paper, either using my Elmer's tape runner, which I just got at Walmart, or simply by putting some washi down um, on the front. I like this process because it's really simple. I can do it as soon as my box arrives and then I can just have everything ready to go for when. It is time to move into the new month. So I'm finishing up here using one of the adhesive embroidery patches. Couldn't resist that cute little pug. Now, the question is, do I stay in my creme brulee or do I move into my Austin Darcy? And I decided that I am gonna move into my new notebook. So I'm gonna be basically emptying this current notebook that I'm using for March and I just took out all the dashboards and my ink pen and then I am going to go through one at a time take the papers out and replace them with my new dashboards that you just saw me make so this process is really done like typically two to three weeks after my kit arrives so um, you're seeing it like it just happened all in one setting but Really, I made the dashboards when my kit arrived, and then they just sat in a basket waiting to be moved over to the new month um, a couple weeks later. So that time is here. I am emptying my March setup and moving over to April. And you're gonna see me repeat this process where I just empty the papers from my current dashboards and replace them with those April dashboards and um, this month I'm not changing any inserts out. I kind of played around through March. I shared my getting things done method. Um, it's a book by David Allen. I'll try to link that um, video for you below in case you're interested in that. But the actual insert portion of my planner this month will not be changing. So my first one is my monthly calendar my second insert is the getting things done insert the third insert is my weekly planning my fourth one is my daisy dory which is a hodgepodge of things i will try to share with you um, as we go through the month of april how i'm using all of those pages up and then my last insert is my social media insert that keeps track of all my YouTube and Coco Daisy responsibilities for work. So nothing major, just that Daisy Dory. I've really been enjoying journaling and doing a little bit of daily planning in that. So here is my new notebook from the Chic Sparrow. And now that I have all those papers um, slipped into the dashboards, I can easily add my inserts to my notebook. I do like to use the second strand there for any jump banding that I do. So I have the two inserts on the one elastic um, just so it's in the middle of the book. It kind of helps things lay a little bit better um, 
with just the positioning of the elastic. Um, I added my favorite post-it notes over in the pocket. I like to have the kit card in there as well. Um, put my Simon card in, gotta have my Simon. And some of the sticky notes from this month. And then I am adding this um, paper clip. Man, I'm struggling for words today. This paper clip, beautiful paper clip to the bottom. Um, I like how it kind of dangles. This large notepad came in, I think, the planner add-on kit, and I thought I'd tuck that in. And then I always laminate a piece of paper, you can see here, and add an adhesive to the back, and it holds all of my loose checks, cash, tickets, um, anything else. So this is a vinyl stick-on pocket from the Foxy Fix. I'm just sticking that on the back there to hold those things and adding it to the back pocket. Um, I also wanted to add a picture of my son and you can see here I put it on the wrong side I wanted it on the other side so um, pull that back out switch it I just adhere it with washi tape that way I can move it from month to month and it really doesn't get damaged so I think that's the final touch for setting up for the month oh wait no I almost forgot my favorite thing. Um, the main planner kit comes with six tabs, and I usually use two or three of them to mark my sections in my planner just so I can easily turn to the section I need. And I do the same thing that I do with the other things that I want to, you know, not damage my paper, and that is just use washi to adhere them to the pages. So the back of those tabs are already adhesive you can just peel the backing off and stick them down however that's pretty permanent adhesive once they're down they're down so I'm just gonna wrap this washi in half and put some on both sides of the tab there and they stay well for the whole month I don't have issues with them falling off or anything but literally you adhere them with a washi fold them over and you are good to go. And you are going to see that I repeat that process for the next two tabs. Um, I would suggest, just my personal preference, adhering the tabs after you have your setup in your notebook. That way you can kind of visualize and easily see the alignment of the tabs. Um, I used to try to put them on my dashboards or inserts before I put them in my planner and it made it a little difficult to align the spacing. Um, I don't keep mine like all in a row. I have some at the bottom, some in the middle, some in the top. And I don't know, I just feel like it's easier to see that when all of the inserts are actually in your notebook. And then that sticker sheet from the main planner kit has labels that perfectly fit these tabs. And they work together, they were meant to do that. So I did use three of those labels to label each of the tabs. So um, that is my entire process from beginning to end on setting up a new month. This month I did move in to this new notebook. Sometimes I just transfer things within the notebook like changing out the papers. Um, but we can go ahead and just take a quick flip through on what that looks like. See this is a little crooked so I'll go in and straighten that. All the little final details. I kind of play around and fix things um, as I progress through the month or as I'm sitting down and I notice something. So there's a quick flip of the dashboards. Lost, lots of post-it notes, very functional. Um, I had even taken out all my top decorations and my Ollie clips and everything. I've just been going very basic. Um, but that is my setup for April, and I'll do 
a more detailed, maybe a plan with me or a closer look at which inserts I'm using for the month in another video. But thank you guys for joining me and watching me set up for a new month. Happy planning.